more than 90 Safeway grocery stores in Colorado could be sold as part of an ongoing plan to merge Kroger and Albertsons. Those are the parent companies of King Supers and Safeway. News 5's Maggie Bryan is here to explain why they want to sell these stores. Maggie. Megan, this is part of a larger plan to sell more than 500 Kroger and Albertsons grocery stores across the country. The two companies say they want to sell these so stores in an effort to satisfy federal regulators concerns that the merger would lead to higher grocery prices. King Supers and Safeway, two of the biggest grocery chains in Colorado. Their parent companies, Kroger and Albertsons, announced a plan back in 2022 to merge and become one. They said it would help them compete against other rivals like Walmart and Amazon. But the plan was halted this year by lawsuits from Colorado's Attorney General and the Federal Trade Commission. Their concern is to protect competition. Dr. Right, Bill Craighead, director of the UCCS Economic so, Forum, says federal regulators argue merging would mean less competition and less pressure on Kroger and Albertsons to keep prices low. The companies would counter that by saying that there's still lots of competition in the grocery market. And they might also argue that by being a larger company, they'd have more bargaining power with the companies that uh, you know, make the products that they sell. Now Kroger and Albertsons have announced a move they're hoping will push the merger along, selling over 500 grocery stores, including 91 in Colorado, to a smaller retailer called CNS Wholesale Grocers, which owns Piggly Wiggly stores. The companies say the sale would bring another competitor into the market. This is a way for them to try to answer those concerns uh, from uh, from the regulators. It's not clear which Safeway locations in the state would be sold, but Kroger and Albertson say the Safeway name would not change for the 91 stores included in the transaction. That's because with the sale comes the licensing of the Safeway name. The companies say this updated plan means no Safeway or King Supers locations would close and no employees would be let go. Dr. Craighead says the impacts on grocery prices would depend on how well CNS could manage the purchase stores. You know, how strong of a company that is is in terms of bargaining with the producers and managing the stores. You know, that's something that would play out over, over many years. He says the plan to sell locations is meaningful, but whether it's enough to address concerns from the Colorado Attorney General and the FTC, we'll have to wait and see. I reached out to Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser for comment on whether the plan to sell the stores would satisfy concerns about competition. His office says he has no comment beyond what has already been filed in court. Now, the United Food and Commercial Workers International Union is opposing the merger and said in a statement that CNS wholesale grocers have no experience operating retail stores in these states, would still lack the IT customer loyalty and manufacturing capabilities needed. You can read their full statement over on our website at KOAA.com.